For today's video, we're gonna be doing a G56 oil change and I'm gonna be trying something new. This is the Hot Shots Diamond G56 Transmission Oil. This is a relatively new product. This was not on the market the last time that I tried some sort of aftermarket style oil. Right now we have ATF4 in the truck because I had 50 weight before, but it was real stiff in cold weather. But now I really need to go back to 50 weight because I'm planning to switch to a single mass flywheel setup and I need something to control the noise and, and just be generally better with the aftermarket setup. So I'm hoping that this new product is going to be a good product. It's a mix of group four and group five oils. There's a lot to read here if you want to uh, pause the video. It is an SAE 50 oil but looking at it it doesn't seem to be terribly thick so I'm hoping that it's not too stiff but I won't hold my breath on that one. But I have seven quarts here, so I am going to attempt a one quart overfill or at least maybe half a quart. I'm not too big on that. I'll show you all how I do it. I don't take the shift tower off. I fill it the normal way with the pump, but uh, I have a way that I uh, do the overfill if I wanna do the overfill. Right now, the truck does not have an overfill. It just has a standard six quart fill of ATF4. And then, the only tool we really need besides the pump is this large Allen. I'll have to post in the comments exactly what size of Allen this is. I don't remember, but it's a, it's a sizable one. And that's for both the fill and the drain plug on the G56. All right, we are under the truck. We have a drain plug here. We have a fill plug here. First thing I do is come up here and we're going to um, remove or um, at least loosen the, the fill plug. There we go. Important to do this to make sure that you can actually refill the transmission. Then we will uh, go ahead and drain it, knowing that we will not be stuck with the, uh... oh man. You gotta be careful with these. It's aluminum trans, so it's gotta be tight, but not overly so. Okay, there goes our oil. You can see that oil is extremely clean, and that's because it's got maybe five or 6,000 miles on it, maybe 7,000. Okay. Now it's draining faster. There is a little magnet on the drain plug, which has next to no shavings on it. So that's that. Just gonna leave this drain for a while. The trans is mildly warm. The truck was driven this morning about an hour or two ago. Yeah, that's some pretty dang clean oil. Okay, it's a few minutes later. We have our oil ready to go. It's kind of going to be off screen here, but you should still see what I'm doing. We've got our pump set up with its lines. I actually cut one of these in half to make the line shorter. We don't really need this long of lines and I think the end near the pump goes in the new oil and it looks like this where you'll have your, your pump on the bottom. And then the tricky part is actually getting this thing to stay in there. So let's see what happens. Yep, here we go. Y'all can see. Oh, look at this. I got one of these transparent um, pumps. You can see the oil going through it. You gotta be careful not to let that start dumping oil outside the trans and it looks like one pump is taking uh, might be seven or eight pumps to do a quart which isn't really bad just like that so I'm gonna do this for six quarts and then I'll catch up with you there.
just going to be repeating this. All right, so we got our six quart fill in there for now. This is actually really nice uh, as far as shift smoothness, but you have to keep in mind that the transmission was driven this morning and it uh, is still a little warm inside and it's still summer here. So it's really going to take a follow-up video for me to show y'all um, or do a little review kind of thing on uh, how it does in cold weather. But yeah, I don't know. This is this is acting a lot like 50 weight did before for me. Let's see. Second gear here. I like the two to three shift when 50 weight is warm. It's better than ATF four, but not when it's cold. Let's try first gear. This is the biggest problem I had with 50 weight before, was when you first start off on a cold, cold morning, you physically would have to apply a lot of force to do a one-two shift. I feel like I was gonna break the trans. <laughs> so if you left the trailer hooked up overnight on a cold night, that would be bad. Or if you need to pull out on a steep incline like I do out on the highway before the oil's warm, you gotta do it in second gear and kind of drag it. I don't like that much. I'm hoping that with the hot shots being group four, group five oil, that it'll have a little bit better cold flow properties. But that was perfectly fine for me right there, that shift, uh, the, using first gear. All these shifts are fine. Let's see if we can get to fifth. like the third and fourth gear seem better than ATF4 when the oil is warm, but they're also this one of the stiffer gears when the oil is cold. Fifth gear is better with 50 weight no matter what, whether it's warm or cold. My fifth gear feels better on 50 weight. That's, that's the biggest improvement with 50 weight. We are going to get this truck where I'm going and uh, get it parked and I'll show you how I do the one quart overfill. Well here's how I do the overfill. I've got this little ditch here. The driver's side of the truck's at least a foot lower than the passenger side so uh, all the oil is kind of towards the driver's side of the transmission. So you can fill it on the passenger side like usual and be able to fit extra oil in without removing the shift the shifter all right i'm gonna have to go around the other side here too tight of a space to fit i'm gonna have to crawl across i don't remember having to do this before okay well, this is warm, I'll tell you that. But surprisingly, I'm comfortable here. Come on. Try not to burn my hand on this little cat. Still have that little cat on the exhaust. Try not to break my nose either. <laughs> All right, it's really not that warm. Okay, so we're down to our last quart here. Got my pump, I've got our last bottle. Hopefully y'all can see well.
this end goes in there. What a pain. Okay. This end goes in here. Probably use some assistance. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes too. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I got this backwards. This end goes in here. This end, I'm making sure it's not contaminated with anything. Goes in here. Can't really pause the camera right now because I get oil everywhere. Okay. Oh, I'm on an incline, so what a pain. Looks like this is gonna, this is gonna work. It's probably gonna take me a minute. We may not fit the whole cord in, but I don't, I don't particularly uh, need to fit the whole cord in. I, I don't need a full cord overfill, but a half a cord would be perfect for me. I've heard some people like to do two quarts. See, at, at some point, the more oil you have in there, I think it's going to trap more heat. I mean, it it's already going to... I think it's going to be worse heat dissipation than ATF-4 because of how thick this oil is. And then overfilling it on top of it, it's going to be another, another issue. Just making sure that's not contaminated with any debris. This is the messiest part. Well, I'll tell you what, we fit that whole cord in. Oh, now it's starting to overflow a little. Wow, just a little bit, so. Well, maybe not much, maybe not at all. Okay, that there is your um, one cord. All right, so this is about where I'm gonna end the video, but before we do that, let's see if there's any difference between a six quart and seven quart fill. So far, it's about the same. Yeah, it's probably about the same. I'm not really noticing any difference with that extra cord in there. What that's supposed to do is it's supposed to help keep the front of the transmission lubricated when you're on an incline driving up a steep grade. I don't know. I, I think I think the six quart fill is probably fine. But it's said that if you're on a steep incline and you're pulling a trailer or something, the front of the trans bearings, something like that, the front don't have enough lubrication. I don't know. Anyways, we are officially ready for a uh, single mass flywheel setup. Seven quarts of 50 weight in here. I'll check back with y'all in a couple of months, let you know how it is in cold weather. So that's gonna do it for me today. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. This makes me wanna drink some grape juice or something.